So this is the process of how to sew one of the swirly black horns into Sabe's uh, Queen Amidala gown. Um, as you can see, I've loaded my bobbin down here at the very bottom with stretchy thread. Right here, you can see it stretching back and forth. Um, I put I put it in the very bottom. I have set my machine to length of four. Right here, you can see. Um, and uh, I put it on a straight line, and I put my tension as high as it can go, and I put my width at about a five and the length so it's at about a four okay so I loaded the bobbin in the bottom like so and then I put regular thread at the very top so regular thread and stretching now what you do is you take your extremely light knit you can practically see through this and uh, it doesn't stretch one direction and but it stretches the other direction slightly so, what you do is you lay it down just like so, and you start sewing in a circular pattern. Okay, so now you see we've made one circle around, so you can see it bunching. On this first rotation around, you go out kind of far. So we've now made two rotations around. You can see it's starting to bunch even more. Now make sure to always pull very tightly so that you can continue making the circles. You're, every single time you make a circle, you get slightly closer. So I've now gone in three times around. And carefully get even closer. And we've now gone four times around. You can see how long this takes. As you start to twist the material. Alright, so now we're going to end it. Okay, so now we're at the very end in the very center. Now we're just going to start going back the opposite direction. Careful to go in between the two threads we've already made. So we got the two threads, so we're going to actually sew right in between the thread that we've already made. And as you can see, I'm just going back counterclockwise now. We went clockwise to sew it, and now we're going counterclockwise, sewing in between each line of thread that we made. Now I do not stop sewing in between each horn I literally just start making a new horn so we've unturned it and now I'm going on the outside of the horn so we've now got six circles popping throughout the horn and see now then I can just start a brand new horn right after it now the horns are approximately two to two and a half inches I don't really pay attention very much um, stretched out so stretched out you can see it right here. So we got about two of my thumbs. And then it makes about, I'd say about an inch and a half size horn by the time you're done. So when you are making or buying your thread or your material, make sure that you have enough material to cover all of the amount. Um, I, I made the dress approximately two inches, I mean two times the size of the dress I'm thinking it will be. Alright, so see, I just made a second one. Not very good, but I just made a second one. Anyways, um, this is what it'll look like when it's all done. There we go. There you have it. Now, Star Wars seems to have made them slightly taller. I'm sure they've got much better machines than I do, or a lot more time. But anyways, that's how you make one. Oh, and this is the thread that I used. You can either use the Guterman style thread that you find at um, Joann's. This one's about a buck ninety-nine on average. 
Um, it's only 11 yards though, unfortunately, so I only get around a couple of times. Um, I had to order this online because I couldn't find any at my local Joann's. It is called Elastic Thread Dritz. Uh, it's 30 yards. This runs even cheaper than that Gooderman thread. It's only about a buck fifty. I paid a dollar thirty online. Um, I bought fifteen just in case, and uh, I've gone through three fourths of the dress, and I am down to approximately six of these left. So I think that if you buy about seven or eight, uh, you can probably get through the whole dress. Anyways, thanks. I hope you enjoyed.